The data rail you retrieved from Madrid revealed that the Death Engine is a weapon that appears to be, well, in Earth's orbit. You must infiltrate Zorax's Space Corporation. We don't know where the weapon is aiming, but we must stop it before it fires. You took a pass-fail elective in astronomy, yes? Well, I hope you passed. What the hell? When I said infiltrate, I didn't think you'd hijack a personnel shuttle. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Our intelligence tells us the death engine is run by a single Zoraxis operative who will likely mistake you for a hench person. Remember, Agent, destroy the death engine at all costs. Personnel shuttle, you're cleared for docking. Come in, shuttle. Hello? Of course, they sent me a new assistant at the worst possible time. Brace for impact! Death engine activation. No. Is that a what could you <laughs> I'm dying. Wait, was it that uh, like the whole that cigar can fit? Uh, isn't she something? <laughs> it never gets old to see her fire. Death engine activation in 10 minutes. Note to self check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Oh my god, this is so much. Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris, clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. Uh -oh. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Automatic computer? Who wouldn't want to do their own computing? Well, if the toilet is giving you trouble, I'm not sure what hope you've got. What is that for? It is exactly for this, no? I know I should open this. Oh. Now it's connecting? Looks like some fuses are blown. Lucky for you, the important one is still good. <laughs> hey, what was that? Ah, this is Death okay. Engine Commander Solaris, clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Oh shit. <laughs> Dr. Zor, uh, what a uh, unexpected surprise. Ah. Obviously. That's hardly my problem, is it? I see. Yes. No. Maybe. Okay, I think I know what is it. it. I suppose. Understood. I said I understand. I think that's what it's for, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna recharge it. Far from home, aren't you, agent? To think that I almost removed that radioactive waste from your docking bay. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. If you keep messing with the gravity controller, what do you think that's going to accomplish, huh? Note to self. Make sure docking on manual override container is securely fastened to hull and not sliding all over the damn station. Keep that off, you're draining the batteries. Sure, go ahead. A little radiation can't hurt. Oh, why not open the other door as well? <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Okay, very clever, but now what? Only I know the combination to the lock and it changes all the time. You die to radiation. Don't open the doors. Die to the death engine shockwave. Aye, decisions, decisions. That was literally the mail, no? <laughs> One, four, three, three. 
Yeah, that's weird. What I noticed, like, very interesting is that the password is the same as the hour. It would make sense why she's saying it's, like, changing it very frequently. That would mean every minute. We don't have, like, clock the whole game. So why it would be, like, here now? <laughs> but I have to be careful and just press in the right time. Okay. I knew people wouldn't take Xenia's security seriously. What the hell is this? I mean, if it's here... Oh Use my god. Calculating force and catch. Wait, what? You're starting to get on my nerves. If you destroy my work, you're going down with it. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Blowing up the death engine is guaranteed to kill you. What do I do with it? I mean, I saw something like in the mail about this box that it has here this. What about that? If you blow up the death engine, you're going down with it. Okay. Dangerous that crystal is. You'll kill us both. We'll see. What have you done? We're both going to die. Was well, that the ultimate sacrifice? Something? Be seeing you. Agent. <laughs> that went from 0 to 100 real fast. So that was pretty much the ending. Like, I've seen this game getting, like, updates. So it means that when it first released, it didn't have, like, the full storyline that we were getting now with credits. Which is interesting. It means that it was, like, the actual first episodic experience on Quest initially. It was not Jurassic. So that's fascinating to find out because no one, like, talks about it. The game is pretty cool in terms of just mechanics. And it released, like, a few years ago officially. And on Quest, we got it on the release date, basically. But it's not a new game. It's pretty old in VR standards. But mechanics, if we're talking about just puzzle-based world, like, they hold up to this day. Not really the graphics. I mean, the graphics could be a bit better. Maybe they skipped on the quest to update because they are actually working on the sequel now that we will be playing it. But the game itself is pretty fun. I can imagine why some people say it's, like, the best VR game that they've played, like, when they were starting VR journey. Because it is, like, inviting for newbies. You've finally done it, Agent. You're dead. <laughs> Not to worry, this is a development we plan to fully take advantage of. I dare say it was a close call for us down here as well. Still, all's well that ends well, though I must confess, I really did expect you to die. <laughs> Something is smoking there. Oh, because we destroyed the world, okay. <laughs> oh, we can as well turn like the commentary and stuff. Another, th another thing we wanted to keep in mind was close interactions versus far interactions. Sometimes far interactions can set up a grand scale of things, but really it's the close interactions that work the best in VR. Freezing things and being able to look all around them is really cool. Being up close and personal is more fun in VR. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. Trail games really know how to create VR games. Another amazing project that they did is Until You Fall, which I, like, a big fan. And honestly, it's so sad that it gets no updates or maybe, like, it will get a sequel eventually, but so good. Escape rooms are not my thing at all. In few missions, I just found extremely tedious to repeat stuff and just do the puzzle sequence over and over again to just reach the point that I'll die again. Again, but with like one step further into the whole section which it's not my preference but I understand why it's happening since it's just that kind of genre kind of excited that the sequel is now arriving soon so I'm glad that I played it before to just know like the mentality and the mechanics to look forward into the second game and remembering how the trailer went I'm pretty sure it's gonna be great we'll see you in the sequel